Welcome. We are here to start Mother's Day with a glorious feast. We are here with It's a Grind, President Sam Ferreira. Yeah, that's correct. And Kimberly, remind me your last name? Klausel. Klausen, who is the product developer, right? You're yes. the head chef. Yes, product development manager. Yes, I so, come up with all these great all flavors. All the flavors, all the drinks, yes. all the specialty yes. items. We love you, we love you both, just for First of all, we love the food segments, but especially on Mother's Day, when we're actually here to talk about things that we can do for mom at home, how can we create something special for her special day? And you guys have brought us so many options. So let's talk for a minute to you, Sam, about It's a Grind. Tell well, us about you. it. thank you. It's a Grind is a great brand that's been around for 25 years. It actually started in Long Beach. Mm -hmm. um, Marty Cox was our founder back then. He, Sold the company off a few years ago, but we continue to get it going and keep it going in our direction. We just opened two new stores in Northern California. Okay. And a majority of our stores are here in California, but we have one store in Austin. So if you're nice. out in Texas <laughs> and need a little coffee, yeah. we've got that for you. Go look for It's a Grind. Absolutely. That's look great. It's a Grind. Most people do recognize the brand. And we have people that we used to have stores in Arizona that had unfortunately closed. They come out to California still to have that. Oh, so okay. um, when you love the brand, you love a brand. And so That's we have a true. lot of people who love it. And we appreciate brand loyal people. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. But that means that whatever the brand is creating is worth its loyalty. So Kimberly, how do you come up with your creations? Oh boy, I think of it as a blank white canvas. Like I go in and I just have all these ideas of like colors. And I, I, I come from a culinary background. So um, I take that background and I add it to drink innovation. So with that that blend, I have the palette. I have the the, uh, the sorry. I have the palette. I know the taste, the flavors, everything that's in. I'm in it. So they've got it. I call her my Willy Wonka. I love going in the back. I know. I can drinks. totally see her in the back going. Wow. Yeah. It, 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 it happens. It happens. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. A little bit of this. A, and a little, little bit of that. Sounds like my cookery. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yes. So tell us what you're going to create for us for mom. So today we're going to do an at-home French press um, with our, our our bean coma sagua. Kamasagua? Yes. Kamasagua. Where is it from? <laughs> El Salvador. Okay. And um, so you can do this at home. Um, it's just a, a non flavored coffee. It's black and you can add spices to it. So everyone should have cinnamon, a nutmeg, an allspice. It jazzes up your, your, um, your single cup of coffee. Uh -huh. And you can add a little half and half or a little milk to it and just make it perfect. Mm -hmm. So this is the French press. I yes. know that much. I actually, I, I've used a French press, so we're going to start with this one? Yes, we're going to start with the coma de agua. Okay, and perfect. And I know you guys are very big on the whole bean. Absolutely. So that's really your main product. So yeah. are we going to grind or we've already ground it? We already it? grind it. Oh. So in the French press, usually um, it's one it's a table, one tablespoon per four ounces of water. Okay. okay. Mm. So we have six here. We're making 24 ounces. Okay because we got a whole crew to feed That's here. Right. <laughs> right. Absolutely. It sits for four minutes. Okay, do we stir it? Yes, yeah. sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah. there we go, gotta okay. give it a stir. Don't we forget. Do. I know we you prepared this in advance. Amazing. Would you normally put the coffee in oils. first? Yes. And then pour the hot water on top? Yes. Okay, perfect. It's and what you'll see is the coffee, you can get the smell and you get a little bit of the bloom mm -hmm. as the coffee mm -hmm. comes to life and really brings that flavor together. Mm -hmm. um, and we start that process off. It's a great way to have a cup of coffee. It's actually my preferred way to have a is cup. Is a French press. Is a French press because you start to get the oils and the flavors on the top of the coffee uh -huh. that you normally wouldn't get from a drip going through paper. It captures all of that flavor. Mm -hmm. This is a great way to share around the table and a, a great way for mom to wow. have a cup. I never mm -hmm. knew that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I love the idea of keeping the oils and all the flavors flavors in one place. And I always think French press is so beautiful that it just adds to whatever other creation you're making for mom yes. anyway. Yes. Absolutely. It's very ceremonial where you're finishing a French press off and then you're pouring a drink for somebody else. Mm -hmm. So almost like a Japanese tea house feel. Mm -hmm. You can take that French experience and do it for mom at home. Nice. And with all the different choices of French uh, beans that we have, you can get tons of different flavors of what you're looking for, whether it's um, an Ethiopian coffee, a Sumatran coffee. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of different coffees for people to choose from and our stores will help you choose what's right for you. Right. How many cool. different flavors do you have? Um, right now we have 17 different oh, wow. um, that are available for us. So we have a lots of different drinks, different things that we create in store. Um, but our whole beans, most popular people get house. Um, espresso blend, um, our winter blend, and then Kamasagua has been this huge hit for us that really? we had brought in for a limited time offer and we've kept it on. It's just been very what, popular. What's the flavor? Um, it's a very mild finish. 
Um, we found it it's great as a cold brew, mm. since cold brew is really popular mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. um, as well as hot. Uh, it's just this amazing Very coffee versatile. we fell in love with. So Very can I smooth. ask that question? So if it's a cold brew, are you actually, you're grinding it and then you're mm -hmm. brewing it right in the cold water? Yes. Not not brewing it hot and then icing it. So yeah. that would be the difference between iced coffee versus cold brew? Yes, iced coffee is just warm coffee that's served over ice or chilled coffee over ice. Okay. Where a cold brew doesn't get any heat applied to it. So it's actually a lot smoother of a coffee. You don't have the acidic finish uh -huh. um, that you normally would get from hot. It's kind of removed from that process. I've never tried that. Absolutely yes. beautiful. Really? Mm. Okay, yes. well, you added it to my list. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> and I know the other thing you guys, but I mean, I'm st I know everybody's staring at the pastries. However, to get to the pastries, so <laughs> I know you also do frozen drinks, ice drinks. Yes, we do. We do non-caffeinated um, drinks, uh, smoothies, um, all kind of fruit flavor smoothies we have to offer at Instagram. I was noticing it matches my shirt, so maybe I should be the one to taste it. Maybe you should. <laughs> maybe you should. Wait, so I'll when, the comes, when, it, when the tasting comes, that's yours. Okay, but you're going to prepare for us a frozen drink. I am. So in our stores, we do offer our famous drink called Funky Monkey. Okay. Right. What's in it? <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> it has cocoa, chocolate powder, and it has our espresso. It has um, banana syrup and it has, wow. um, I think, chocolate shavings and peanut, butter. and peanut butter. Wow. That's the version in store. Everything the monkey loves, right? Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. So we've t I've taken that and I flipped it around so you can do it at home. Wow. Ooh, so right. tell us what to do. <laughs> so you're going to take a quarter of a banana and you're going to take two cups of ice, two, ta two teaspoons of peanut butter, and three to four ounces of your own brewed coffee. Whichever you choose. Whichever mm -hmm. you choose. Okay. And blend it. And, and then we're gonna blend it all up. So yes. we're actually gonna make that here? Yes, we're gonna make let's it. Let's do Ooh. it. Okay, right. let's uh, get those ingredients in the blender. Okay, let's go. So now that you've made the mix, tell us again what's in it. It's the Funky Monkey at Home version. Okay. <laughs> so, so we're going to taste that, right? We're yes. going to pour it. Here, maybe I can help you I there do with that. that. Great. Okay. I think I'm Twist. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. All good. Wow, that looks mm, so that looks delicious wow. for summer. Great job. Yeah. Oh, my mm. goodness. Any day, honey, any day. For the winter, for <laughs> Then you can I just crank the heat up in the house. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit cream. Uh, what was I thinking? Oh, as Boom. if. It's not a seasonal drink. As if. Happy it Mother's Day. More. There you Happy go. Happy Mother's Day, oh, indeed. Wonderful. Wow. So tell us a little bit about the most popular drinks. What's flying off your shelves? You know, the, the amazing thing is, is the Funky Monkey is one of those drinks that uh, people love. It has to be the name of it. Of uh, but they love the drink, but also just normal espresso drinks. So mm -hmm. coming in and get a, a caramel latte, mm -hmm. uh, getting a cappuccino, those are all things that we do um, in the store. And if people don't want to add espresso to a lot of our drinks, we can take it out of it just to customize mm -hmm. the drink for them. If they're watching certain things in their diet, we can make a drink that's custom for them. That's so the beauty of coffee is that it's your drink, however you want it, that's how we're going to provide it for right. you. Right. I love that. Love it. Yeah. That's wonderful. So I think it's time time for us to taste. So here we go. That's Thank yours. You. So I've been so excited. Eyeing. I am so excited. Are been you so excited? Okay. And I'm going to I'm going to leave the funky monkey cuz I know we it's have crew so who would love it, I but know. I'd like to taste. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, French yeah. Yeah. Just right. push yeah, it. And then can you guys tell me what's in this one? What's in this beautiful red drink? Oh, we have a uh, fresh fruits um, strawberry mm -hmm. with um, ice of puree. Yeah, strawberry puree. Oh my gosh, ice. That's amazing, isn't it? Oh, it's amazing. A you can twist tell. At the top. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's great. And does it? It tastes. It actually tastes like go. strawberries. Oh, not, yes. I got not it. Fake. No, it no, it has more um, fruit. Uh -huh. It's just Real pure fruit, fruit and yeah. ice. Yeah. That's it. Yes. Wow. Oh my gosh. So is that how you make you all your fruit drinks? Just fresh fruit and ice. Uh, with a different parade, mm -hmm. we have different um, Flavor parades. flavored parades that are already brought into our stores, making oh, it easier for the owners. It's so Do good. I have to taste you it? Have to taste have to you have to taste it. You honestly have to okay. taste it. It's I will. So I will. good. 
Okay, so this I is know, where right? we we talk to our viewers about <laughs> needing taste a vision and okay. smell a vision. Yes. Okay. And I think it all of these. Like, I feel like I'm in like a Beatles montage where I'm like in strawberry fields and I'm just like Run. running through a field and there's <laughs> strawberries everywhere. And in the back. Um, the Paul McCartney's going, I buried Paul. Do you remember those? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that is what this drink makes me feel like. Oh super my goodness. Good. Super well, good. Oh, awesome. It sounds awesome. like mom could really enjoy. I got to tell your kids what you want for Mother's Day. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm I want for Mother's that's Day. That's it. It's so good. And so, okay, where's the nearest place where I can go and get one of these? Uh, perfect. The closest one is in Mission Viejo, just right up on Marguerite. Um, next to Trader Joe's, it's a great location. And you know what? It's a rock and roll feel. So that Beatles connection. Uh -huh. you know, I can totally go there. You so, all go. right. So, nobody watch as you're driving down Margarita. I'm just going to be there in the field, just enjoying my drink. That's awesome. Excellent. Now, I'm going to taste the French press with, it's uh, got a little bit of cinnamon. A little bit of cinnamon. Yeah, just so to just spice a little it up. Cake. A little okay. Bit. Yeah. I'm good. I am not afraid. Okay. All right. <laughs> Don't be afraid. And if you want to add a little cream to it, it even mm. makes it better. That's beautiful. Okay, what, That's is, what really do you feel like? What do I feel yeah, like? What do you feel like? Okay, I feel like morning, the sun is coming up, and coffee for me just smells like that. It smells like the brightness of the morning, and now I'm starting to get some energy to my step, and it just is a beautiful start it's to like the day. A it's arom Yeah, it's got mm -hmm. the aroma of the sunrise. I can smell it, it smells amazing. Yeah, it smells divine. Okay. And thank you so much. Thank you. Sam and Kimberly, thank you for coming in and sharing It's a Grind with us. We are so grateful. And I know that our viewers are going to be coming out to check you guys out. I appreciate so, the opportunity. We thank, thank, you. You. thank you so much. And that's the end of our Mother's Day show. So to all our mothers and all of our non-mothers who are celebrating Mother's Day, who have special right. people in our lives. That's right. So we don't restrict, we encourage you to go find your perfect start to the morning. And we're so happy to have you with us. So we'll be back next time. And in the meantime, good day, good Orange, day Orange County. County.